So if you have a beat or some type of musical production in Cakewalk and you want to record vocals on top of that, whether you're a rapper or you're just a person that's speaking or you're a person that sings, I'm gonna show you how to do that. This process will work for any type of song that you do within Cakewalk or what for whatever DAW that you use. But in this case, I'm using Cakewalk by BandLab. All right, let's get right into it. All right, here I am in Cakewalk by BandLab. If you have not installed Cakewalk by BandLab, I have several videos that talk about how to install it, but you wanna make sure that you have the most current version. This is still a free DAW. So let's talk about recording vocals in Cakewalk. First thing you wanna do is there's a simple shortcut called Control T and I'm here, I'm on my project, everything is looking good. I'm gonna press Control T, it's gonna create a new audio track. Now it's called track six. Now I can go through and I can label this and change the color. Well, let's at least change the color. So let's make it this color right here. And maybe that's what you wanna do. This kinda helps to organize your tracks. This is very good when you get into working with a lot of tracks. Now, right now I'm only using five tracks, but I have a six track. So what I like to do first is set the track up so that everything is good to go. And then I like to duplicate it. On this particular song, I'm just gonna do four tracks, period. All right, you might wanna do more than that, but I'm just gonna do one track for my lead and three tracks for my background vocals. Don't worry, you might wanna do way more than that and that's perfectly fine. But I'm just gonna do it simple so you can have it in your arsenal for when you get ready to get in this project and do it yourself. Now here it is. On this part here, we're looking at the input. The input is very important. So you can see my input is set to Zoom L8 ASIO driver. I'm using ASIO drivers. I am using the Zoom L8, which is a multi-channel interface slash podcast mixer, which I really love. If you want more information about that, check the description and I have a video down there that will explore that particular mixer. But it is great. I am really enjoying using it for as recording. So I want to set it to input one. All right. Now, if you're not seeing any of these options available, let's start back here. Let's go to the beginning for my beginners. No pun intended. Edit preferences. You are going to see, let me slide this over. You are going to see devices, driver settings and playback recording. These are the three main things that you need to work with if you're dealing with audio setup so right now, playback and recording, I have a set to ASIO. Now, if you don't have ASIO drivers, and you're probably like, well, how do I know if I have ASIO drivers or not? Well, answer me this. Do you have an interface? An interface is a separate hardware device that is outside of Cakewalk, that is outside of your computer, that allows you to plug inputs or outputs into it. So whether you're plugging a mic in or plugging in your guitar if you have something like that then there's a chance that it will accept ASIO because most interfaces of today accept ASIO drivers now if it doesn't accept ASIO drivers then you might have some other options to choose if you are using the internal sound card most sound cards that are internal to the PC like my PC underneath me does not use ASIO drivers the best option would be Wasabi Exclusive or Wasabi Shared. Wasabi Shared means that it's gonna share the audio drivers with whatever program you click on. So that means you always will have audio no matter what. Exclusive means that maybe you just have an interface that only should be used for Cakewalk, but maybe it's not the one that you wanna use for everything else. So you can make an exclusive. If none of those work, then you go with the older formats, WDM, or the MME, all right? So try any of these out. It is trial and error. Sometimes it works great, sometimes it might not. So, but eventually you should get it going. If you have trouble with this part, you're definitely not gonna be able to record no audio tracks. You gotta get this part set up first. So that way you know you're getting a signal. After you have that set, driver setting. This is very important. It's called Playback Timing Master and Recording Timing Master. Recording Timing Master means that what is the master for recording? I have this set on Zoom L8 ASIO Driver Master L, all right, which is also included right 
so left and right so but i can do input one i can do three i can do five i can do seven and eight so there's multiple options for recording uh, but i'm just going to keep it on the master l all right that means that's the default setting for it but it doesn't mean that's the only thing that i'm limited to i can record on other things now this is even more important because if you're recording and you're saying well, i'm recording but i'm not getting any audio coming back i don't hear anything in my headphones or anything in my speakers then you might want to check the playback timing so right now i have driver out three now i have other options that are in available right here where it says devices you'll see input drivers and you'll see output drivers input drivers is basically what's coming in and you can notice that for my zoom there's l8 asio l8 asio driver one three five seven eight and in the outputs there is one and three okay now i have driver output one disabled and the reason why is because i want that to be the audio coming from my computer and then I want the audio coming from Cakewalk only to be on driver three. So that way I have separate channels for each one. So I can kind of mix them or blend them to taste. Now that I have it set up correctly, I'm gonna go to my none, set it to my input one. I know that I'm getting a signal when I push the record to enable it. I am getting a signal. Now you wanna make sure that you're getting a signal on both sides. We've talked about this many times. I am recording a mono signal because I have one cable, one XLR cable going into my interface, but it is coming off on both sides. So it's kind of like a stereo signal, but it really is mono. So just don't get twisted with that. But if you notice that you're only getting on one side, then you need to go back and adjust this and make sure that it's set on the right input. So whatever input you plug into on your interface, most interfaces, if you're using something like this, Focusrite, Scarlett, 2i4, 2i2, whichever. Normally they might have two inputs. So they'll probably have left, which is input one, and right, which is input two. All right. Now I have it set to record, but even before I start recording, I'm going to duplicate this track. I'm going to right click and I'm going to duplicate track. And I do this because it makes it easier versus trying to set up each track. Once you have this all set up, especially if you had effects, like if you had effects, you know, you want to use on each track, then you can copy that too as well. But repetitions, I'm going to do three more. Okay. I have three more. I do not need all of them enabled record. So I'm going to disable them. All right. I'm going to start with the background vocals first. Now you might want to go through and name them. I'm going to call this lead Vox. All right. And you might want to just call this, you know, tenor, or you might want to call it background one. Uh, I'm just going to say BKG Vox one. All right. Now you might want to stop there. You might want to save it. I already have a save, but I'm going to save it again. Press control S. All right. Now we are set up to record. So I'm going to go to background one and I just let me listen to, I don't even know what I'm doing, but all right, let me go ahead and uh, do something. I got stopped by my wife a few times, so that happens. It's okay. Uh, let's see. So glad I, my wife. So glad to call you my wife. You're my, my wife So glad to call you my wife That's right Okay, I don't know So glad I'm my wife Okay, I got you You got you, my wife So glad that you're in my life so glad that you're in should i sing in a natural singing in false let's sing in false yeah. so glad that you're in my life so glad to call you my wife so glad that you're in my life 
so glad to call you my wife that's life right okay i don't know save it so glad to call you my wife i'm gonna go should i go up top my wife my wife my wife my wife i go up top so i put the melody on in the mid on the first track rather My wife So glad that you're in my life So glad to call you my wife That's life right. Okay, cool So if you're still with me so far Definitely subscribe to the channel My name is Justin Norm Alright, I'm gonna record a little lead vocal Now you might hear some funny stuff I don't know. I'm going to try to see if I can come up without the fly. But anyway, we'll see. All right. Here we go. Actually, you know what? This is fine. This is fine. We'll stop when we get there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that I would, didn't ever find the the one that's for me. It makes me see that Lord had blessed me with this beautiful woman. I didn't know that I get to be so with glad you. That you're in Boy, it's so short. I thought that I would didn't ever find the the one that's for me. It makes me see that the Lord had blessed me with this beautiful woman. I didn't know that I get to be so glad you. that you're in my life. So glad to call you my wife. It's so short. I told my mama that I didn't want to do you say you'll do it for me. I thought it could be. Another idea. So far, let me know which one you met, which melody you like. Now, I'm playing around with this, y'all, because this is a whole process of how you should be recording in there. You might come up with some really groovy and it's good to capture it all. So the good thing about comping is that you could comp it. But what I'm doing is I'm actually recording it to separate takes. Um, but I got the takes on different tracks. You can do it on different tracks through comping, uh, which I should have really dealt in the first place. But I just feel like just copying and pasting it so that way we can listen to what we got. All right. So anyway, you all, I'm going to stop right here. Of course, this might be an idea that I might continue. What do you think about this song so far? Like, uh, do you all, are you feeling it? Like you all, you know, let me know in the comments, you know, like, hey, man, this is a groove. It's a bop. You know, I should go ahead and continue working on it. Um, you know, it's funny how I really like prefer to make stuff myself. And but when I can inspire, so I get, you know, ideas from other loops and stuff that are already been produced it just gives me so many more quick ideas to work with 
versus trying to um, think everything up on the spot. So now none of this stuff like, you know, went with each other. Of course, the drums and all this stuff were different, but I did some editing on some things. I chopped some parts together, um, even on the bass, this bass part. Um, we did not go like this. I mean, it did, but it did do that. So it's an octave guitar. Okay. And you can see it's kind of got like a little fuzz to it. It's really, I like the tone of it, but there were a few notes that were slightly out of tune. And then this one, this riff actually stayed around a minor. So, uh, the first chord is D minor, but it stayed on the same riff. It didn't change so i kind of pitched some parts differently so that way it can fit the chord progression that i had um, and then there was one part where the bass was completely out of tune so i used a plug-in i don't even remember what a plug-in is not it's not on there now because i bounced this down but um i'll, I'll talk about it another time but anyway this is just about vocals you all so if you want to learn how to record in cakewalk it's pretty easy you know for me anyway i know it's going to be easier for you once you continue to learn so any questions that you have specifically for this or any other type of questions that you have about cakewalk or any other doll for that matter um let me know in the comments below i am in the process of updating my one-on-one -on -one schedule so if you're a person that says hey man i need a one-on-one -on -one session with you so i can really dig into these things uh it has been really helpful some of the one-on-ones i've been having just to really answer um people's questions you know specific questions that you have for your project so i can help you get your project together so anyway i love you all if you haven't subscribed definitely do that right now take care peace